You're watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, full mouth reconstruction, extreme smile makeovers. According to my first guest, your teeth are never, too, or gums are never too far gone, too bad to have the smile you've always wanted. With us, we have an expert on the topic, Dr. Alex McCree. Dr. McCree, welcome to the program. I appreciate you having me, Randy. So I know you brought a stack of photos. So we'll get to as many of those as possible, but who's your typical patient? And then also give us a working definition of what this full mouth reconstruction means. All right. So our typical patient is someone that needs full mouth rehabilitation or an extreme smile makeover. Okay. Uh, you kind of hit the nail on the head with that one. And they come through all sorts of different ways. You know, they could come through having, you know, a lot of cavities or maybe some infections or periodontal disease, which means, you know, bone loss or bleeding gums or bad breath or, or any of something like that, or it could be have bad dental work. Uh, in the past, you know, they've, they've been going to the dentist a long time and, and they're gonna need more than just the filling or the crown this time. Uh, it could be someone that has bad genetics um, or anywhere in between, you know, so it's someone that really in, in closing is someone who needs more than just your single filling or single crown. They're, they're gonna need a little bit more work this time. So it's a lot of combination of procedures. Yes. Even like single tooth implants, things like that. Yes, you know, so a lot of times it is single tooth implants and sometimes we're starting all the way over and it could be any, any of those. Okay, dentures. You also make some cosmetic dentures. Yes, we do a lot of dentures. So, you know, and, and we do a lot of dental implants, of course, but that doesn't mean that's going to fit for everybody. So, you know, we're very a la carte, right? And okay. so that means, yeah, if you need a denture, we're here to serve that. Okay, now your center, uh, you say, is a bit unique. I guess typically you may even have to, in fact, you said in the green room that some of these photos, typically you may have to bring in one or two specialists to get the job done at your center, you do it all right there. Elaborate on that. Yes, I feel like that's what makes us different. You know, okay. that's what sets us apart is that we're able to do it all under one roof. And so it kind of goes all the way back to uh, my training. You know, so we went to dental school and you kind of learn the basics, right? You know, you have, you know, you learn your fillings and your crowns, the stuff I was talking about earlier, but that's not gonna get you to the point where you can do the full mouth rehabilitation and take care of those cases. So this is like something they don't teach you in dental school. To rebuild a whole mouth. Those are the basics. Okay. Just enough to sometimes maybe get you in trouble, right? Okay. Um, so to do, you know, more than that, I went did a residency. And the goal there was to learn how to place and restore dental implants, learn how to take on these full mouth rehabilitation cases, which means I needed to learn the lab work, you know, how the engine runs behind it, you know? So you can have it, you know, you have to know how the engine work, runs, right? Okay. You know, so okay. how, how do you design it? You can say, oh, I'll put an engine in there, but how does it work? You know, what are the, what's going on behind the scenes? And that's a huge understated part of, of these full mouth rehabs is, is, you know, the things that go on behind the scenes. And then the third one that uh, actually during my residency is I met my, my business partner, Spencer Russell, um, who we do a lot of these cases together. And okay. so it helps a lot. That wasn't what I went to residency for was to, yeah. to find a partner, but you know, it helps a lot to have two guys that are equally trained to take care of these cases and to be able to handle these uh, cases start to finish under one roof. So that's why I think sets us apart um, and able to stay from start to finish all in one spot. So by definition, back to this full mouth reconstruction topic, they're not quite ready for a full mouth of extractions. Yes. In many cases, in Absolutely. this particular topic. Absolutely, I, okay. I agree. Uh, so a lot of our patients come in and, you know, they need a lot of work, but, you know, they're not ready to completely start over. And there's a lot of centers out there that, you know, it's, it's what you see is what you get. You know, you're only going to be able to start over, you know, that they're not, you Meaning may have all the teeth taken out. Yes. Okay. You know, it's completely start. And we do a lot of that, obviously. And I think that we're very good at it, but sometimes they're worth saving. You know, sometimes there's a lot that we okay. can do with, you know, you don't need to rebuild the entire house, you know, maybe just, you know, redoing the kitchen, redoing the bathroom is all that's needed on this one. And you know, patients want to do that, right? You know, and I think that's a natural way to think is, well, if I've got 75% that are still good, why can't I work with that? Okay, and you're big on sedation. So a lot of these big full mouth makeovers are what, IV sedation? A lot are, and we do a lot of uh, kind of, again, a la carte again, you know, it's whatever the patient needs. You know, so we have kind of four main treatment methods, you know, so first of all, we, we numb the patient up. That's good for, you know, usually our single implants or something like that. Um, past that, we can have laughing gas or oral sedation, which actually I did a smile makeover my dad and, and oral sedation is what I used and it okay. worked beautifully. And then so for a lot of our larger cases though, that we do IV sedation because it's a lot of work to get done in you know, a short amount of time, but it still could be an hour, two hours, maybe three hours of work. And that's just a lot of time to you know, stay open. So when they're sedated, like IV sedation, you're monitoring what? Like Everything. as far as safety? Heart rate, breathing rate, 
um, their oxygen saturation levels in their blood, you know, just everything. And it's nice for a patient that you know, could be a dental phobic that comes in and can wake up and their procedure be done. And that's nice. It's like very little memory? Uh, typically, won't remember a single thing. Is that right? Yes. They just wake up and their teeth are done? It, as a matter of fact, yes. In one day, you can go to sleep, wake up, and have new teeth. So what do they like more? The fact that, because you say, and you have a stack of photos, and I'll get to those. Okay. But what do they like more? The, what they can eat and chew again? Do they like just being out of pain, or do they like the way it looks? This is kind of an obvious hint, both, right? You know, okay. So I have people that want to come in and just chew better, and they're really, really pleased afterwards about how they can really smile better and they're getting compliments and you know they didn't that's not what they came in for and on the other end I have people that say I just want to smile I don't care anymore you know they're, they're literally looking for the aesthetics and then they're saying well I just didn't realize I couldn't chew quite the way I used to do you hear eating stories all the time do they ever I, say are you sure I'm ready to eat oh yeah I mean and they can eat that day um, it's it's you know people it's, I haven't had corn on the cob in years I haven't had popcorn in since I don't know when and you know it's pretty nice to be able to, I, I take it for granted, you, uh, probably yeah. you as well. Right? Don't even think about yeah, it. Yeah, just eat what I want. And, you know, I, I bite into a nice sourdough sandwich, you know, and it, it doesn't just pull out of my mouth. I'm able to chew effectively and I take it for granted, but these people don't, you know, they live that day in and day out. And for them to be able to come in and a day later, be able to take care of that. I say, now, now, we've talked on the phone and, 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 and I always think it's just teeth, but you've, you've kind of tried to convince me that it's more than just teeth, that these people you say they transform. I, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but it's it's really life changing for some of these people. Well, yeah, I agree. It's you know it is teeth, but it rounds out the face, and the face is the first thing you notice when okay, you meet somebody, that's fair. right? There's studies that say you know what is the most attractive thing in a partner, and almost invariably it comes in as the smile is the first every single time, and if not first, it's it's close top okay, three. Okay, it's fair. And it changes their mood. It changes their outlook. You know, they may be. Uh, not going to certain social situations that they used to. They're, they're not smiling. They look unhappy when they're really not. Um, you know, it, it's something that bothers them and it can completely change their outlook. People so, with bad teeth, you say, can be judged. Yes, uh, take Hollywood for example, right? Okay. Um, you know, you have the bad villains. What do they always have? I guess gray teeth or Bad not? teeth, right? Okay, okay. So, you know, and what do all the heroes have? Nice smile. Nice white teeth okay. like you have, okay, right? Thanks. But. You know, that's just the or way like it the is. the poor people in the movies. Yeah, absolutely. There's, I've been told there's dentists that make these fake bad teeth clip-ons. Yes. For people that want to be, play street people or... Yes, that's exactly what they do. And they've actually ran studies uh, that shows that. And they'll take a person that goes out and tries to get a job interview. And they'll have those snap-on bad-looking smiles, right? The, the exact opposite, well, of what, interesting. The opposite of what we do. And they'll go and try to, and get a job. And, and again, invariably they will have more jobs offered for the person that has the better smile. And that's not even coming with regards to the, you know, their confidence and the way they're carrying themselves. That's purely just the aesthetics of the smile. And I'm not saying that's right, but that's but the way it is. smile makes you look at least friendly, even if you have straight teeth or not. Yes. It makes I'm, you approachable. It's part yes. of your charisma, It's I just guess. human nature. So you, uh, now when, when they come in and you're on a consult and their teeth are bad, like as, as you said, I mean, they're like barely hanging on, right? You get excited sometimes. Yes. What does that mean? Well, I get excited because I've done a lot of these, right? And so I know where we're heading. They don't, you know, I can show them the before and afters and I think I have a, you know, a, a great uh, stack of those to show today, but they want to see how's it look in my mouth? You know, how okay. am I going to feel? And I know how they're going to feel. And it's really, really fun to see that transformation for that person. So when they come in, they have very low expectations. You know, they're not really expecting to have their life transformed, you know, their smile transformed in the way that I know that we can. Okay. And so when they come in and they see that smile when they wake up from sedation, you know, and they get their fixed set of teeth, you know, it's 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 is literally, it tears sometimes? Oh yeah, it's it's tears. There's hugging sometimes, and it's <laughs> it's really it, and it's gratifying because as I was saying, the full mouth rehab that's that's really nice. You know, people don't you don't go and, and have uh, tears for a filling, you know. But for okay. this, you know, this is really nice. This is something big, you know. This is a a pivotal point in their life. This could be a new lease on life. It could be, you know, the day their life changed. Because if you don't like something about yourself. Oh, it sounds like I'm overselling it. I'm, I'm not, you know, it okay. sounds like, oh, okay. you're, this is really a, a, a turning point in someone's life, their teeth. Yes, yes it is. You know, it's it really changed the way they feel, which I know it's just the teeth, but it's, it changes the way they feel, which then changes their life. It's not the teeth, it's their confidence that changes, and then that changes everything else.
and they don't have to think about their teeth anymore. You don't have to think about your teeth anymore. I, my goal is to come in and get you fixed up. I don't want you to think about the dentist every day and think about your teeth. <laughs> don't think about me anymore. You, know, you can say hey to me as you drive by, but other than that, you know, you're living your life, eating how you want, smile how you want, and call it a day. Okay, good. Let's go to these photos. All right. All right, so uh, first before and after here, I want to show you. This is Josh. Uh, oh, wow. Your, your typical guy, right? You know, he comes in, uh, pretty attractive guy, honestly, but the teeth, they're not doing well, right? He was in pain. Well, that's gotta be unusual, see something like that. It's not as unusual as you think. You know, so not to get too much into the studies, but there's 180 million people just in the US that have either missing teeth or are missing all their teeth. Okay. And so you could fill up just in the Jacksonville area, the NFL stadium two times over of people that are missing teeth. So people think that it's just them and they, and they come in all the time, right? You've never seen a mouth like this. No, they're out there. You just don't see them. They hide, right? They don't go out in social situations like Good I was point. talking about. Okay. And they, you don't see it. You know, I see it because I'm a dentist and I, they just and look I'll, mad or right. And, and I'll look at their photos and I know I like, they must have bad teeth because they're always hiding them. And so you don't really pay attention to that, but I do. And it's, you know, they're, they're recluse. So but you can see people on the street as a dentist and say they're hiding something. As I, after that many years of training, yes, I can't help myself. And, uh, well, good. Okay, so for him, I'm yes, sorry I interrupted. Yes. So he's got a lot of things going on. This yeah. is like the full mouth reconstruction. This is, this is the definition about. of full mouth rehabilitation right there, okay. right? I mean, you can see even visibly he's got a lot of stuff going on. There's even more stuff going on, of course, under the hood. You know, and so he comes in and we're able to take him to this right here in one day. So he wakes up and that's <laughs> wow. what he's got. And Very nice. Would you say that's a more attractive person? Yeah, I would say. I, I mean, he's more handsome for sure. Yeah, and so... And he has a great story. Um, you know, he, he had been married to his wife since high school. Okay. High school sweethearts, they had three kids together. And she'd only known him since bad teeth, which goes to show you, I mean, how long he'd had bad teeth, how long this had bothered him. And, you know, he finally got to the point, thankfully he came in, but he'd come in, you know, and would deliver the nice set of teeth. And to her, she'd never known him any other way, except for he just had bad teeth and he never smiled. And uh, he sta she stared at him <laughs> so much on the way home. He came in for, actually, he was a, a long distance guy, came okay. in from three hours away. And he told me uh, at the follow-up appointment said, you know, if you don't stop staring at me, we're gonna have baby number four. And I was like, okay, well, I don't, I'm not taking responsibility for that, but that's how much it made a difference for her. You know, of course it was a difference for him, but that was his wife who already, of course, loved him, had three kids with him, but she could not believe and would not stop staring at him. And she'd known this man for 15 years. So. I think probably his biggest regret after this and knowing you know where he's at now and can eat everything that he wants and smile has it, that he wants that he didn't do it sooner you know that and like i said he, people wait right oh absolutely especially, especially men we put things oh, yeah, off till stubborn. we can't take it anymore he's stubborn you know he's ah this is fine it doesn't bother me i don't care and he got to a point where he said i just simply can't deal with this anymore i got to a breaking point you know and his, his breaking point was just finally admitting that he needed to do something and he called me you know, or, yeah. or went to the website, you know, and just that first step, I'll take care of the rest. You know, I'll get you to the final, the, the finish line. But that first step, he finally got, I guess, frustrated enough to actually do something about it. And then just that one step got us to that. All right, let me show you this next patient. So here we have Sean, another, you know, just regular guy, right? Just a guy down the street that you know, you're friends with your neighbor. Okay. Don't think twice about it. But then you look at his smile and there's a huge hole there. You know, there's, it's a very gummy smile. It's very stained. There's a lot of buildup. He had some bone loss on it as well. He was self-conscious about it? He actually wasn't as self-conscious about it. He was more, uh, his wife was, but he was more wanted to eat better. You know, as you can see, like I said, that, that hole on the, the whole left side of his mouth there, he had no, no chewing ability. So okay. he couldn't eat what he wanted to. And again, much like the, the guy before on Josh there, one day wakes up and he's got his final teeth. And you can see a huge- So this is a combination of procedures. Yes. But yes. done in one day done in one day and so you see that he has teeth currently right so he's not wanting to go without teeth for him that was not an option that was not something he was willing to do so thankfully we have the ability to go with where he doesn't have to go without and that's okay. what he was looking for and so that's what he woke up with now what about his wife you said earlier she was a little self-conscious about it about yes. his smile and his appearance yeah so he was you know all about the eating and then she was all about the aesthetics. So she was instrumental and she, you know, helped us go through the whole thing and wanted to help, you know, pick out the smile. Of course we, you know. It's like a new husband. Yeah, exactly, right? So, um, so she loved it. And of course, I mean, as you would might imagine it, she, I would think she's quite pleased with that. So, and even after those, I, he was not really concerned about the aesthetics. But he told us afterwards, he said, you know, I didn't understand how many more compliments I was gonna get about this. <laughs> That's not what I did it for. I did it because I wanted to eat. I was a guy, I just wanted to eat, I'm, you know, grizzly, but 
He said, you know, had I known, I probably would have done it earlier because I didn't realize, I guess, how much it was affecting me before. And these are the selfie guys on Facebook that drive me crazy sometimes. Yeah, the ones that you uh, maybe unfollow because now I'm sure he's posting selfies all over the place. <laughs> I don't blame him. You know, I'm, I'm happy about it. Looking good. The, uh, and, and so like what we've talked about so far, they, they might have to go to the gum specialist. Yes. Right? It, it, the, the, the periodontist or they have to go to the oral surgeon or whatever. But you guys do it right there. All right there. All in one building. So that's... Is that a cost savings because... It, yes, it is. And so that's my... Going back to my... The point of my practice and our, okay. our big uh, reason why we do it was to have everything be efficient and geared towards the patient. Why? Because that's what I would want when All I right, go to the dentist, fair. right? So what do I want to do? I want to drive the prices lower because that's huge. That healthcare costs are high and that's what is a huge issue. How do we do that? Keep everything in house, you know, complete vertical integration, not sending out to a surgeon over here and not sending out to the lab over here and getting your teeth made over here and it's taking forever. It's going to cost more money, time. Right, same okay. thing. All You're right. doing all those things, right? And then you just take it forever. You're taking off work. You know, you don't have time to come that 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 many times back to the dentist. And also having a convenient location, convenient hours. So all of those things combined is the whole reason why I've done my practice the way, or our practice. I do have a business partner. The way that we do is because that is what people want. Okay, good. You know, I had an oral surgeon, and we were talking about this, and he told me, he goes. And I know it's not a recognized specialty, right, yes. to do this kind of a thing. But he said, Randy, there's this new breed of general dentists that are like super specialists. They, yes. They, they really do it all. And he goes, and that's why even as an oral surgeon, he goes, I got to start getting involved in this stuff because patients don't want to go all over the place. Yeah. I, in, in Jacksonville, we have a ton of great specialists. There's nothing against them. It's just more patient focused. And that may be a little more old school way of doing things is to go to multiple offices to get this done. You know, it takes too long. You know, you're talking four, six, eight months to get something that I do in a day. Okay, okay, good. Time for a couple more. All right, here we have Valeria. Okay. So I really want you to look at hers, right? So her before, you know, you have a, a tooth that's dropped down. You know, we have some missing teeth. She had some bone loss. She had a lot of things going on. Your typical full mouth rehab patient, right? You see her and I already know the end result, right? So I know what we're gonna get to. So you're kind of excited about it. Yes, because I know hers is gonna be Pretty extreme, you know, from what she's coming, she's, you know, a very pretty person, but I don't think her appearance and her smile matches how she feels on the inside. Okay. But I know it's going to. So here we have her final. Very and nice. look how much more broad her smile is. It fills out her smile, right? So, I mean, that's a huge, huge difference. So that's only two weeks out of the procedure, right? So you look and you'll see that her hair is done up. She's dressed nicer. Yeah. I didn't tell her we were taking photos. That's just how she dresses now. That's just her confidence now. And she, as you can see, is very, very happy about it. And that's what I was getting back to. It's almost like a glamour shot, you know? Exactly, yeah, it's like, it, you would think that, oh, she got dressed up for that. No, we just had the two week post stop and said, hey, you know, why don't you come up and would you like to take a photo? And she said, I'll be more than happy to, because I mean, she's happy about it. You know, and something you said earlier, you know, as I look at all your photos, including her, but you know, it does, it makes them look smarter. It, yep. it, it, it makes them, teeth make everyone look a little more attractive, it, for useful. sure. Yeah, energetic. Younger, right? that's another one. So, I mean, one. like I said, I, it changes their whole persona. You know, so people say, you know, I get people who ask me at work, so what, what is different about you? So, did you get your haircut? And it, it's the teeth, you know? It really just gives a more youthful okay. vibrance about them. Now, is it true that like spouses, partners, they do this together? Like one goes first, then the other one comes back? Yes, yeah, sometimes. And so we get a lot of patient referrals. Okay. You know, that's how a lot of people come find us because they go, I didn't know that was possible. And it was just, that's why, you know, try to spread the word, right? So you have about to clean up possible. their gums before you move forward, right? I mean, because these people, a lot of them have bad gums. Yeah, well, so a lot of times we can do it all in one. So okay. that's what people have this preconceived notion of like, well, this is going to, I've got a lot of work, doc. You, you'll, this will take forever. It doesn't. You know, I've, you know, my residency actually was recovering alcoholics and addicts, right? So as you can imagine, I've seen some mouths that, you know, need a lot of work done. Okay. And so you get enough reps in that, you get very quick and efficient at even handling the toughest of cases. And it still is a very, very predictable, easy and efficient procedures for even the big ones. So you say losing teeth is expensive. So if, if you could save teeth, you're gonna do it. Absolutely. Okay. Yes. I mean, that's our goal is to be a la carte. I don't want to put someone in a box and say, you have to do it this way. I want to see what's right for the patient and get them to where they need to be and get them what they came in for, right? Whether it's aesthetics, whether they want to chew it, whether it's all of the above. And I'm, I'm gonna take them and say, well, this is what we can do to get you to that point. All right, so here's another patient. All right. And as you can see, uh, you know, missing teeth in the back. 
right? So she's going to be a full mouth rehabilitation patient. She's got a lot going on. She's missing teeth in the back, so we you know might be doing some single implants there. She's also got a lot of cavities in the front. It's kind of hard to tell, but there's you know they're kind of in rough shape. So we were able to take her again, like a broken record. She wasn't able to to eat. She couldn't you know eat salad. She couldn't bite into the sandwiches that she wanted. She was having problems. Okay. And we were able to take her in one day to this right here. Okay. <laughs> she right looks, again. She looks right? happy for sure. It's it's a it's a broader smile. You know the the teeth fit what she should look like, how she feels on the inside, and that's a big difference. That's a big difference from what she was before. And a funny story about her is we delivered her finals, and the, immediately she asked us. She said, "Can I be on your billboard?" And is that right? I, yeah, I couldn't believe it. She said that I'm just sure George Clooney will see it. So um, I don't know if George Clooney's <laughs> coming to Jackson. Did she make it on the billboard? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna put her on there for sure. Yeah, That's I've nice. never been asked for it to be able to put it on the billboard, but yes, absolutely, be requested by name. Okay, good. For people just tuning in, we're talking about extreme smile makeovers, what we're calling full mouth reconstruction. With us, we have Dr. Alex McCree. Uh, and uh, we probably have about four minutes left, and I know you still have a stack of photos. Yes. So I'll rush you a little bit. All right. We'll move through here. So we have another one, same thing, right? Missing a lot of teeth here. So, and unhappy with a smile, can't eat well. So she came in and wanted to do just the lowers. So okay. she's a little bit more hesitant, you know, wanted to just see it to believe it. The lower teeth, we, Yes, okay. just the lower teeth. Um, she had problems upper and lower, but just wanted to do the lower first, just to make sure um, we weren't able to convince her that that was, you know, we need to go ahead and do both. We fixed the teeth on the bottom. She comes in, she tells her husband, says, let's schedule to do the top. We did the top the very next week. Probably would have been a little more efficient to go Very ahead nice. and do she definitely looks younger. both at the same time. But, you know, people have reservations, and that's okay. And so I was like, you know, hey, again, going back to the a la carte, if that's what it takes for you to get the job done, then that's what we're going to do. I'm and not going to force you. And even if somebody's like on the tightest of budgets, even a cosmetic denture that you make. Yes, we do snap in dentures and, and we do cosmetic dentures as well. So, I mean, of course, this is, is great for a lot of patients, but it's not fit for everyone. And if okay. they can't do that, then we have an option for them. Okay, good. All right, I got one more here. All right, so, all right. This is Janice. So as you can see, a lot going on. She actually was in the denture. So her teeth are too far up on the front. You know, really want to um, see, look on the corners of the mouth. She got a lot of wrinkles. Okay. Teeth on the bottom, too far up. Doesn't fit well. She can't eat anything. Again, combination of procedures. Goes right here, and this is her final. Oh, wow. And so uh, the teeth are great, right? The teeth are great on all like of these. Like her uppers didn't even show, her upper teeth uh, the, did not show on the Yeah, it's complete, it's, it's a whole new woman. So the thing about her is, you know, she's our typical patient. She waited way too long to get this done. She's what do you extremely happy. Well, she's extremely happy how she is now, but she told me that, you know, I should have done this 15 years before. You know, I've been suffering for this long. That's like losing out on 15 good years. Yeah, I mean, so it's wonderful that she's got it done now, but I wish I could get those 15 years back and that she could have loved this for that much longer. She could have been a more confident person, lived her life 15 years earlier. Instead of suffering with, I mean, you see it, that's, you know, that's not great. You know, that's, she wasn't happy with that. And so that wasn't, wasn't necessary. We could have fixed that a long time ago. You know, my father, who's 86 today, and, and it's a story, it has to do with what you're saying is, he wore a denture from 45 until 80. And he said he was so self-conscious. You can imagine dating with dentures in your mouth, and he was dating. And uh, he said, and then of course he got upper and lower teeth, supported by dental implants in that particular case. But he's going, I can't believe it. It's like, I missed out on all of those years. But and that's, that's like what you hear, because nobody wants to go to the dentist. Oh, well, absolutely. You yeah. must hear that every once in a while. I, I do hear like that. No offense, quite, I do hear that quite often. But, you know, I'm able to, you know, put those fears at ease, and then we're able to get to where we need to go. But yes, that is a very common. I think you kind of, you know, I picked up on that. You kind of like when they say that, because it, now your goal is to kind of win them over. Yes. Well, they like going to the dentist. Well, I got a little bit of a competitive spirit, right? So they come okay. in and they, they challenge me a little bit, and I'm ready to take on that case. Okay, good, good. A couple more, a couple more. All right. I'll rush you. All right. These are good. So another before and after here. So uh, this uh, was a, actually a, a musician from Atlanta. Uh, he had a grill um, and had a lot of decay underneath that. You know, so the grill was, you know, was hot at the time and it is not exactly maybe in vogue now um, and was not working for him. He was in a lot of pain. Okay. And so we came in again, same day, was able to give him a smile like that. And he's loving it. He's out recording new music. He's looking good. Oh, absolutely. He's, uh, he wanted to drink Gatorade, ice cold Gatorade. He said it's the first time he's drank it in five years that it didn't cause him an extreme amount of pain. And that was awesome. So he's out. Uh, he said he's doing well with the ladies. Um, so, okay. yeah, yes. So he's extremely happy with from what he came in with to what he has now. So here we have, again, I sound like a broken record, I know. But again, coming in, 
kind of down on her luck a little bit, you know, not happy with her smile, doesn't even really want to show the teeth. And then this is what we have right here. Youthful, exuberance. Wow, that, that's a big, happy smile. That, that's, that's a great a cosmetic. That's a huge difference. All right, so then we have AC here. Okay. Again, just your regular guy, right? These are not celebrities that are all needing this or the, the person that's, you know, done drugs or something like that. These are regular people that have just either gotten unlucky with genetics or, you know, they're brushing and flossing just as much as we are. Okay. Which is surprising to hear. And they've just gotten to a point where they're gonna need a little more work to get back to where they need to be. And, you know, right here, so a great before mouth, and after. reconstruction, makeover. Yes. And he looks great, you know, he looks happy. He's out living his best life, he's retired. He actually lives on the beach, loving it. He can eat whatever he wants. He eats what, what he wants. Any low country boil, shrimp, fish, you know, down by the coast, anything he wants. Okay, good. Now look, we're, we're short on time. If, if somebody's watching this and they're like one of the, you know, people with really bad teeth, they don't know where they stand, but for whatever reason they're putting it off, maybe they're skeptical, right? They're afraid of the dentist. What do you say to them? If you're skeptical, if you're putting it off, if you're afraid to come to the dentist, the only thing I'd say, just come see me. Just take the first step. If you can take the first step, I can get you to where you need to be, to where you're confident and happy in your smile. No matter what the budget is, no matter what you have going on, we can get you where you need to be. All right, can I just show one more? Yeah, one more. All right, one we'll more. Rush it. All right, this is James. Comes in, as you can see, the front tooth's missing. So, you know, he's not sure what his options are. Do I need full mouth rehab? Do I need a string of smile makeover? May, may not. And he's got a lot more going on. He has the one tooth that's missing, but again, once you get in the x-rays, he's got a lot of bleeding gums, bad breath, a lot of things are loose, a lot of things are going on. So we cleaned up his gums, got rid of the infection, got him all nice and healthy. And then we were able to take him to this right here. <laughs> so he comes in, like I said, tons of infection. That's a happy guy. That's a happy guy. That's someone who loves what we've done and loves what he has going on in his life and his mouth and his confidence. So because of technology, and you're doing a lot of this on the computer first, are the patients like getting older and older, meaning like is 70s young today, 80s young today? Are you getting more and more of the older patients is what I'm saying? We, we do them all. Yeah. So I've done it up to, uh, you know, I've done patients up to 93 and I've done patients as low as 22 for these full mouth rehabilitations. It really runs the full gambit of, of okay. patient's age. Okay, good, good. So if, if uh, they could go on your website, start there, make an appointment with you yes. uh, or your uh, associate, you both have similar training? The exact same training. That's what we met at the residency. So Who's we friendlier? Actually, I don't know. I guess you have to come in and meet us and now see. You guys been hanging out since like a dental school or at these meetings? Yeah, or? we know each other. Uh, it's, it's great. I get to practice with my best friend who's just as good as I am, if not better than me. And that's that you can't beat that. So not only do you get one experienced dentist, you get another one. You get two when, when you come here that are both looking at these cases and two surgeons that are going to be looking at these cases. Good. Good for you. I want to thank you for coming to the show. Good stuff. All right, I really appreciate it. You've been watching the Wellness Hour news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. For now, I wish you could help. Thanks for watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.